Hello everyone, my name is Zach. I am The Traveling Man and today I'm going to give you a full tour of room 1688 on board Celebrity Reflection. Room 1688 is a corner sky suite or a sunset sky suite. So it is part of the retreat on board and as such there is a doorbell here right as you enter the room. I did want to remark though that the door is a little bit different however, not like the other uh, Sky Suites that you'll find on board. It doesn't have the wood door and that's because it is here in this little hallway all by itself. It is behind another door here along with this other stateroom. If you look on the map on Celebrity's website, it will show that these two rooms are connecting. However, other than this little entryway, there is no door to that stateroom at all inside of this stateroom. But like I said, this is a suite. It is part of the retreat and as such, it is a very spacious stateroom. You notice when you enter the door, you do have plenty of space in the room. And right here beside the door, you do have closets. There is plenty of closet and storage space inside this room, which is one of the benefits of the room. You can see on this side, you have a lot of uh, shelves to place a lot of things. You also have your Celebrity Cruises tote bag. You can take this with you when you leave the cruise. You also have here binoculars that you can use throughout the course of the cruise. And also an umbrella that you can use as well. Here's a laundry bag if you do have laundry that you want to do throughout the cruise that is located here. And then here is the hair dryer for the room. It's inside this bag inside the closet. And here is the safe. And this safe is big enough to put a 16 inch MacBook Pro. I've kept my MacBook in here all week so just know that it is a very large space. And then on this side when you open up the closet notice that it does have a light inside which is a very nice touch. Plenty of hangers and storage space. And as this is the retreat, you do have a retreat branded robe available in the room. There will be one per guest. And then also some slippers as well that you can keep and take with you after the cruise. Just beside the closet, this is the entrance to the bathroom. Here is the thermostat for the room. The light for the bathroom is actually here on the outside. So you can turn that off and on. The cool thing about this uh, room is it is a sky suite. It does have a bathtub in addition to the shower with Pretty cool nozzles and things. We'll look at that in a second. Here is, of course, the sink. You have plenty of drawers and storage here inside the bathroom. You also have uh, all these mirrors and this vanity, which is nice. And you can open these to have plenty of storage on the sides. Now, as this is a, uh, a retreat stateroom, you do have plenty of little uh, perks. There's a vanity set. Uh, there's some lip balm that's included. Uh, and then on the other side, you do have the uh, Bigelow Apothecaries um, things like body lotion and then the shower. You have the conditioner and the shampoo. And then over here, you, of course, have Retreat branded towels, which is a very nice touch. And uh, like I said, you do have a bathtub, which is cool. And then here are the various nozzles that you have that turn on different functions. And all you have to do is turn one nozzle. And you can see we'll turn this one. And the Rainfall shower head will turn on. We can turn this one. Let's make sure it's turned away from us. You can turn on the sprayer. And the cool thing is you can have both of these on at the same time, this and the rainfall, and nothing loses pressure. So you can have a lot of pressure coming from here and a lot of pressure coming from there at the very same time. And I found that incredible. And then here is the knob for the bath. So I like that everything has a separate knob and it's easy to figure out which one you're, you're turning. Uh, and then, of course, as I mentioned, you do have those... Uh, amenities you have body wash shampoo and conditioner are all contained here in the bathroom and plenty of storage in the bathroom as well you also have these uh, drawers down the side where you can store things so stepping out of the bathroom now into the room like I said a very spacious room the first thing you'll notice is this little seating area here with the sofa this is a very comfy sofa I've enjoyed sitting here all week I've enjoyed uh, laying on the couch and being able to look right out that poor hole window uh, while I read so it's been very nice there's also a table here so if you want to enjoy some drinks or some room service you just totally can do that right beside the window coming up next you have a vanity and it does have this chair where you can sit and maybe get ready there's also space here um, for you to store some things here on the desk they have left a portfolio of things uh, pertaining to the retreat laundry services of course but also a daily schedule of things happening in Michael's Club, which is an exclusive club for retreat guests. There's also a note here inviting me to Lemonade for a special lunch. 
They also leave these little wallets for guests as well. You can see here the outlets in the room. This one actually, this is a light switch turning on the vanity light right there. But they do have um, several different outlets. Uh, so based upon what you need, here's what you can plan to um, in terms of outlets in the room. Right above that is a TV. The TV does look out over the bed. And this is a king size bed, but it's two twin size beds put together. And you can see the seam is here in the middle. Um, if you're a solo cruiser like me and you like to sleep in the middle, that's a problem because these beds come apart so easily and uh, you'll wake up like in the crack or the crease of the bed. Just beside the bed, there is a night table. And yes, you do have to mind the pole in the room. This is a, a support pole uh, for the structure of the ship. So it is sort of an inconvenient place in the room. But you do have a phone right beside the bed. You also have a celebrity branded notepad and paper as well as a pen so you can take notes. Of course, the remote control for the television. The television probably about 32 inches or so. And then there's a table right here. This is a good place to sit where you put on your shoes or get ready for the evening. But I do like that there's a lot of tables and seating and places to just uh, relax in the room uh, that's not necessarily just the bed to sit on. And then you do have drawers over here, which has been very nice. So you can put your clothes and things throughout the cruise. You can completely unpack in this room, which I like. I will note that this is a wonky drawer it doesn't go all the way in so there are some blemishes in the room i won't point all those out this ship did debut in 2012 so it hasn't been refurbished uh very well if at all this room is probably some of the original decor that this room has had so now we will move around to the other side of the bed you have another nightstand table here and you do have these light scones on either side of the bed you can turn those on and off and the fixture over on that side of the bed actually has a switch that will cut on and off all the lights inside the stateroom now just behind me here on the other side of the bed is the mini bar in the room and you can see there's a lot of storage space down here if you want to store some things maybe you brought your own drinks there's also a place back here for you to put bottles of wine and things like that there's an ice bucket and some glasses included in the room up here there is more storage but also some champagne flutes and it looks like another ice bucket there as well this is also where you're going to find your room service menus and because you are staying in a suite, staying part of the retreat, room service is absolutely complimentary. They have room service in the morning. They have premium breakfast options. And then, of course, they have lunch and dinner options as well. Down below here is where you'll find the mini bar. And be very careful with the mini bar situation because anything you take out of this mini bar, you will have to pay for. There's actually the uh, menu of prices right down there. But anything you take out of here, you will have to pay for. So I've been getting these Evian waters right here and also the sprites right here sodas things like that they do have those down at the retreat lounge or michael's club you can get those for free they're complimentary for guests of the retreat and then i just bring them up here and put them in my fridge but i've taken nothing else out because you will have to pay for those so that is pretty much it for the inside of the stateroom we'll take one more look back and now we will get to the best part because this is as i mentioned a sunset veranda sky suite so we are going to step out now onto the veranda and the cool thing about this because it is a corner sky suite it's on the corner of the ship so you actually have a view off of the side of the ship and unfortunately this particular room does house the uh window uh cleaning cart i haven't noticed anyone in this throughout the course of the cruise and i did ask and they said that no one would come into my room in order to board this so you don't have to worry about window cleaners coming to board this they have a ladder that they can come up from the bottom i just wanted to note that uh, you do have this cart just outside your window and it does obstruct the view off the side of the ship just a little bit. But that can easily be overlooked because look at how big this veranda is as I walk into the far corner of it to show you just how spacious it is. It's a beautiful, beautiful veranda off the very back of the ship. Today we're ported in Naples, Italy. So we have a very good view of all that's going on in Naples. But it's also very cool for a sea day because you can sit out here and see the wake off the back of the ship but included on the balcony is a nice table uh, this table is very spacious it's nice to have room service out here there's also two chairs just like this and they are adjustable uh, so you can lay it back or lay it forward more whatever you need and then there are two footstools as well there's one here and then you can see the one with the chair over there and now i'll come to the other side and show you you can see off the very back of the ship and all the other uh, sunset verandas around us and below us. Now we'll look back over on the other side 
of the Brando. So you can see how it wraps around the ship. A great location. It's also very nice because you can be out here and uh, you can see into the room. You can see directly back into the room and uh, vice versa. I really like that when you're laying in bed, you wake up in the morning, this is the view you're going to have right off that veranda. So it's very nice. I've really enjoyed this room. Again, this is stateroom 1688 here on board Celebrity Reflection. This is a sunset sky suite. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, please go down below. Give me a thumbs up. Make sure you consider subscribing to the channel because I have so much cruise content to come. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you on the next adventure.